Hey Bungle, nice to see you. Merry Christmas. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, Bungle, hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going over endless to the War 2 free to play first person shooter and today we're talking about the Invasion of Army, the Panzer 4H. Now keep in mind the Panzer 4H you can grind for for the Germans in the Invasion of Normandy campaign and you can kind of use a gold order or you know pay I think it's like 1,150 gold, unless a gold, to go pick up a five-star version of this tank. Now, kind of what I do here on my channel is I give you an overview. I kind of tell you, you know, hey, you know, what is this squad, this tank, this weapon that I'm reviewing? Next, I give you a performance. You know, I kind of tell you, you know, what, how does it perform? Is it good? Is it bad? And lastly, is it worth it? So, without further ado, let's begin. Starting off with an overview. All right, so this is a medium tank. In Enlisted, there's three types of tanks right now currently in Enlisted. You have your tank destroyers, you have your light tanks, and of course, you have your medium tanks. So this is a medium tank. Medium tank is really good at dealing with infantry, dealing with other enemy tanks. It's very versatile. It's a multi-role. It's a way to traverse in the battlefield and kind of dealing with all types of threats. Now for its performance. All right, this gets a 75 millimeter gun. This is a longer barrel gun, and you may be asking, you know, what's the difference between this and the Panzer 4J? And honestly, in my opinion, I think this tank has great mobility. Really where the Panzer 4J struggles with is traverse speed and just trying to, you know, travel across the battlefield, which is very slow. And when you get into tricky situations, you're like, oh, and, you know, they kind of get hemmed up and you get killed. Well, with the Panzer 4H, it kind of makes up for it with its great mobility. 75 millimeter gun. You have some side skirts on it as well to kind of prevent you from explosives and stuff like that. It kind of helps you increase that survivability. But that 75 millimeter gun is just great at taking out, you know, anything. You might struggle a little bit against a jumbo, but from... The M4 Sherman and below, you'll be able to deal with it, no threat. And the armor on it is pretty decent in dealing with threats. You know, the only thing the M4 Sherman can, it has a possibility to penetrate you. And the same with the Jumbo, of course, and even the M10 Wolverine. But let's be honest, no one really uses that tank anyway. But other tanks are going to struggle to penetrate you frontally, of course. If they get a side shot on you, well, you're going to be exposed. Now, lastly, do I recommend it? Is it worth it? In my opinion, I'm going to say you have to hold off. And it's kind of unfortunate the way it is, and I probably wouldn't recommend it currently in the game, just because you need to unlock the Tanker Level 2 class before you equip this tank. And it's kind of a shame because most of the Gold Order tanks and then listed right now, you can pick up, especially if you're starting that you know tech tree, that campaign level, right away and use it with the default you know tank squad that you unlock. You can't do this with the Panzer 4H. You need to unlock the Tanker Level 2 class, I know some of my reviewers ask, oh, you know, I just got it and I can't use it. And it's like, well, you can't because you need to unlock the tanker level two class in the Invasion of Normandy campaign. And that takes a hot minute. I think that's like level 20 or in the high, you know, mid 18, level 18, level 20 range. And it does take some time to get up there to that level. So my recommendation here is that if you are grinding down the Invasion of Normandy campaign, you are trying to go expedite your grind. Let's say you have the Puma and you want a good backup with it and you get, you know, you unlock the tanker level two class and you have some illicit gold lying over, well, this wouldn't be a bad, you know, backup, have that with the Puma and do really well in the game. But like I said, if you're a new player, I would hold off on this until you get down to getting the tanker level two class. Another option, of course, is paying money and getting the Panzer 3M, which I've done a review on. Very, very good, cheap premium to use when you're trying to grind down the Invasion of Normandy campaign. Now, to reach this point in the video, new viewer, possibly a new subscriber. Well, I hope today is a day that I earn your subscription. Have you subscribe and comment down below. Does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Returning sub, returning viewer. Let's be honest, none of you watch my videos. YouTube analytics never lie. Hashtag model airplanes. What is your favorite model airplane? Have you ever built model airplanes? Have you built Revel products and all that type of stuff? Comment down below. Let me know if you have. I used to do that back in the day when I was a kid. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.